I always knew that music was what I wanted to do uh, ever since I was a little kid when I would sit at the piano and I would feel the excitement of hearing something in my mind and actually being able to play it. It usually starts with a melody or an idea that I hear. Um, I had one song that I heard a couple of car doors shut in such a manner at a gas station once that it put a beat in my head. And from there, I kind of developed a rhythm from that. Um, so some things are just sort of daily life, you know, listening for, for sounds around you. Um, listening to really, really great composers and artists. I'm from Philadelphia, and the very famous thing in Philadelphia is the Rocky Steps. In the movie, when Rocky runs up and does the victorious dance with all the trumpets blaring, is the art museum. And they're right on those steps. They had a really big African art exhibit years ago, and I saw someone playing this instrument. And typically, it's an instrument that comes in a hollowed-out gourd or a flat piece of wood, and you see someone play with their thumbs. And I know I'd, I had heard of the kalimba before, but I don't think I ever heard it the way I did that day. And so I went home and bought one on the internet, and it was very small and very quiet. So I stuck it on top of my guitar, and it just sort of ignited this idea um, to start exploring with what a kalimba and a guitar would look like, if it's possible to put them together. Um, and so I started this idea with Dick Boak from Martin Guitar, and then I went to another builder in a uh, Philadelphia area named Mike Haney, and then I finished this version here with a master luthier from Toronto, Canada, named Sheldon Schwartz. Um, and so we spent a long time figuring out the right kind of wood, the right kind of metal for the keys, the tuning, the layout, absolutely everything, and then how to combine it with a guitar, and so that's what you see here today.
Meantime, if you have a story idea you'd like to see us explore, or you're a poet or a musician that would like to be featured, email us at wpbsweekly at wpbstv.org.